Rescuers now on day six, desperately searching for survivors as the death toll rises to at least 37 in the historic Kentucky floods. It's going to take years to rebuild. Uh, people left with absolutely nothing, uh, homes that we don't know where they are. Hundreds of people whose homes were swallowed up by the water now staying in shelters and state parks. Hundreds more still missing. Coming up out of the trees, 80 feet below. So far, first responders have rescued more than 1,400 people. The Kentucky National Guard lifting those stranded to safety high above the flood water. And finally, some relief from the catastrophic storms. Governor Bashir reporting a break in the weather for a couple of days, but warning the next big weather challenge will be extreme heat. It's going to get really, really hot in areas that are devastated that we're still getting power to some places are going to be dangerously hot so especially for our seniors and those who are otherwise fragile uh, we need to make sure we get them to a cool place nearly 10,000 are still without power some without water as rescuers work to clear blocked roads it's it looks like a war zone around here this community has come together more than anything but the work is not done here we need the most help you've ever seen in your life among those offering help, one of the most decorated teams in college sports. The University of Kentucky's men's basketball team will host an open practice and telethon tonight to raise money for the flood victims. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York.